Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing about a different aspect of a surgeon's life and it is about handling complications. It is not about the technique of handling a particular complication but how does a surgeon psychologically handle a complication because this is something which I never learned during my residency training. I learned this when I started my private practice. This is something which I tell most of my fellows when they finish their fellowship and then they embark their journey in private practice. I tell them that uh, when you get your first complication in private practice where you are the sole responsible doctor there who is going to take care of the patient, that is when you really start learning private practice. That is because till that point you are only afraid that something will happen. But now once that first complication occurs, you know how to handle it and how to go about it, how to speak with the patient, how to handle the psychological ups and downs around this complication, how you communicate with yourself, not just with others, but also with yourself. All these things you learn when you get your first complication in your private practice. And this is very important. Few things which I learned when I started my practice is that you are going to get complication no matter what. How careful you are, how meticulous you are, how learned you are, how experienced you are, how many gadgets, how many you know high-end machines you have, you are going to get complication. And when you get a complication, you feel that guilt that I could have done something differently. Now many times you listen to many experienced surgeons, they are speaking in conferences and they tell about how flawless their surgery is, they may be having zero complication etc etc. Don't listen to them, it's not true. No matter how much experience a surgeon is, he or she is going to have complications. Of course with experience the chance of complications get lower because they have learned from their own complications which they had in early part of their careers. But still they will keep on having complications. So forget about this particular aspect, psychological aspect that you get. Why me? Why I am having, I am the only one having complication. It's not true. Everyone will have a complication and you are not the only one who has got that complication. Okay, so don't be guilty don't feel guilty about it it is part and parcel of a surgeon's life accept it and go ahead the second part important part of psychological aspect of a complication is uh, how to deal with this psychological turmoil because many times when you have a complication and a bad one where you have promised something to the patient or this is something very simple which should not have happened uh, you get into that you know cocoon you feel guilty and you don't speak with anyone and that might uh, you know affect your future surgeries or your future training as well so it is very important to communicate first communicate with yourself as i said don't be uh, you know uh, get uh, caught up with that guilt in your mind and second thing communicate with others always have those friends around uh, who are you know a call away or message away and just message them or call them just explain them how it happened and your good friends will always you know tell you that this has happened with them as well and they will also chit chat about how to avoid it in future etc etc I also get mails from my subscribers telling uh, about the complications they had and that's absolutely right way to deal with it because once you tell this to many of your friends or your colleagues you know you forget about this psychological turmoil and now you start focusing on you know how to tackle the particular uh, co complication rather than getting uh, guilty or getting afraid or uh, getting depressed because of the complication so it's very important so always I uh, uh, you know say it like call a friend Okay, so whenever you have a complication, discuss with your colleagues. So many times it happens when you are a, a single practitioner and you don't have any colleague with whom you are working, then it is very important that you have these good friends around you. 
apart from just calling a friend you can also invite a friend or a colleague to co-manage that complication if you are a person who gets very stressed out about a complication i think it is the best idea to involve your colleague in managing that patient and takes the stress away because now uh, your stress is you know di divided between you and your colleague and your colleague may be more experienced than you in managing that particular complication so these are very important aspects of managing a complication psychologically now the third important point about handling a complication is uh, what about the next surgery if you have not come out of the psychological turmoil created by your complication or maybe even a series of complication when you start your next surgery your next surgical list it might be in back of your mind and that might affect your judgments sometimes you are too afraid to take a particular step in the next surgery and that might you know add up add up pile up and sometimes i have seen surgeons getting depressed uh, trying to avoid surgeries in their practice trying to you know uh, refer these patients away so please don't do that you know don't keep that old baggage with you if you are done good surgeries before you can always do it in future so don't worry about the recent complication or series of complication you had you just go ahead go ahead and do your ot just like a new day with fresh mind without carrying any of these psychological turmoils in your mind and believe me you will do well so this is a very important aspect of a surgeon's career because i have seen few surgeons just leaving their surgical careers because of uh, these psychological issues that come out because of few hurdles we all experience in our surgical life so don't worry about it my appeal to you just keep on going take help of your colleagues and you will be right on a great path and will have a great surgical career ahead uh, these are uh, some important advices i would say for a young person who is entering career of a surgeon there are many more things which we can discuss about it there are surgeons of different psychological texture some are quite uh, bold they just forget about the complication go ahead with their uh, surgeries but some most of them are sensitive and uh, if you have right kind of advice at right moment that can change your career of course i would like to appeal to many experienced surgeons who might be viewing this video they can leave their comments also how they have tackled their psychological aspects during complication or series of complications many have must have gone through series of complications like cases of infections cases of some uh, complications which are keep on occurring uh, in their surgeries and how they dealt with it psychologically and that will be a great advice to many of our young colleagues thank you so much